I'm using a Microsoft Loop workspace for personal productivity, to work on my ideas and keep my thoughts organized. So let me show you how I'm using it and five reasons why I think the Loop workspaces are great for personal productivity. If you're new here to the channel, then hi, I'm Daryl Webster. At Modern Work Mentor, I help individuals and teams improve the way they work with Microsoft 365. We work together to create a plan to work at your pace using real work from your environment. And that's the best way to learn. I also create online courses and there's plenty of videos on my YouTube channel. So subscribe. And if you're interested in a mentoring session, visit modernworkmentor.com to learn more. So what is a Microsoft Loop and what is a workspace? The Loop app is an app to work on ideas, co-create with team members and share across multiple places that we work in Microsoft 365. In the Loop app, we use workspaces and pages to keep our work together. We can invite people to join our workspaces. Loop pages are like collaborative canvases. You add ideas, notes, references, tasks, and more to a page using Loop components. They're like blocks that you can get content off to a quick start. Loop is amazing for working together with team members, but it is also a great app for using for personal productivity. Let me show you how I'm using a personal Loop workspace. I created the Loop workspace using the Loop app, and I'm in a Loop workspace on my own. In this Loop workspace, it's divided into pages and subpages. I'm using them as a way to keep my pages together. So I have a page called Ideas, and underneath that, a subpage that um, represents one of the ideas that I have. I've got a section uh, for tasks that I'm working on to, to do things. Um, and for each of those pages, for example, I've uh, focusing in on, on content that I need to, to get organized and work with. I've got a task list. I've got other, other things that I use to plan and try and set up the, uh, the user group episode, for example. There's a section here on meeting notes. So I'm starting to use a page and take meeting notes. Uh, and uh, as an example here, I've got one where I met with Rob and we were just working through what he was gonna do uh, to present at the, the user group. Um, a section here on feedback. Apps that I like to support and I've got ideas that I think they may have to improve. So I've captured things like uh, feedback for, for the Loop team. Uh, and down here, videos that I'm creating. So things that I might come up with for video ideas, um, the things that I want to list off and present, and then maybe a script that I've started to build together. So that's kind of what I'm using right now. Reason number one as to why I like Microsoft Loop for personal productivity, it's the clean pages. Uh, if we just open up a page here and create a new one, let's go and as if we're creating a new idea, I'll create a new sub page. Now look at that. We'll just collapse the page list out of the way for a bit. It's a nice clean page. I can give it a title. So this is a new idea. Um, I am not overwhelmed by a whole lot of toolbars and things that are in the way, but instead it's just a clean page. And if I want to add something, then I just forward slash and maybe add a title. So it's simple formatting. You know, this is a heading. Uh, this is text. And I can create lists and tables and checklists and and numbered things that I might want to work on. It's a very simple, clean page, not distracting, things are out of the way, love it. Reason number two, I can sync my tasks with planner and to-do. I can create a page and have an idea that I'm working on. Um, so here's an example where I have set up a page for planning the July user group meetup for the Microsoft Loop user group, and I've got a list of tasks. So there's a few things that I do need to do uh, to make sure that I promote it, create it, uh, create a space for people to meet, uh, various other things. And this is synchronizing with Planner and To-Do. Let's have a look at where that is. I go back over to uh, a web browser and check out my Planner. Uh, here it is. There is a uh, plan that has been created. It's connected to the page for uh, these tasks. And you can see all the tasks that have been assigned to me. Now, because it is in Planner and there are tasks that are assigned to me, I can also see them in To Do in the uh, smart list called Assigned to Me. And here they are at the top. Uh, I can click into one of these tasks and I can see what that task is. It's assigned to me and I can open up the, the loop as well directly from that task. 
So the uh, tasks that are on the page here are a bit like subtasks, ways that I like to break down this thing that I'm working on uh, so that I can, I can uh, complete it, such as organizing the next user group. Uh, and all the other content that I've got on this page helps me to plan the next episode. I've got dates and rough times of when the, uh, the user group might run across different places around the world and links through to the, the interactive user, um, the interactive whiteboard that I use for, for the presentations as well. So everything comes together to help me to plan this as a, uh, a session and I'm using these tasks uh, so that it synchronizes with planner and to do so I can use them there. Reason three, I can embed my meeting notes in a meeting invite. I like to prepare for my meetings by creating a meeting notes page and I list the agenda and plan up my objectives for the meeting. I like to list some of the questions that I might ask or points that I might want to make. And if a meeting includes people from my organization and I want to share the notes, I can add them to the meeting invite as a loop component. Meeting guests will only see a link, but they won't be able to see and open the loop. Even when the meeting is just myself and guests, I like to attach the loop meeting notes so that they're easy to access from the meeting invite. Reason four, I can organize my thoughts on loop pages with a number of different options. I frequently use headings, bullets, and indented text. I like to also use the drag handles beside the text and drag things into a different order to order my thoughts. I use tables when I want to list thoughts and information about the information. I might add a topic column so I can see things clearly as a topic, and then I'll add notes about that topic. And reason five, I like to be able to share sometimes pieces of my idea with people when I need a bit of help. In this case, I might get Laura's help with uh, researching some of the materials that I want to use for my idea. Uh, so this background that I'm trying to create, uh, let's see if I, I might just share the whole page uh, and we'll uh, loop Laura in. We'll go back over to our email and send her a email. And we'll drop in the link to the page that I want some help with. Please help with research for this project. And we send that off to Laura. And the good thing about this is that Laura can respond and work on the idea directly even from this email. Um, she could maybe come up with a, another product that she wants to show me. Uh, so we've got an example of one over here. Copy that image. Jump back into the email and drop that in. And there's one of the products that you might want me to take a look at. The great thing about using a loop component is that I can get help from Laura without actually sharing my whole workspace. So that's five reasons that I like using loop workspaces for personal productivity. They're simple, they keep my tasks in sync with my notes, I can use them with my meetings and I can organize my thoughts and I can share my ideas when I need to. So what are the ways that you're using Microsoft Loop app for productivity? Share them in the comments below. And if you're new to using Microsoft Loop, or you're looking for ways to improve the way that you work with Microsoft 365, subscribe to this channel and visit modernworkmentor.com to learn more about my mentoring service and online courses. Until next time, bye for now.